Now, sixth step is harvesting. When your crop is uh, proper, when your crop gets fully matured, you need to cut it, right? So that is harvesting. So what do you do in harvesting when your crop get mature? The cutting and gathering of crops after they get mature is called as harvesting. How you do? You do with a this thing. You, either you can do with a sickle or you uh, use a special machine that is the harvester for that. Because see, uh, with modernization, the machines have are come into play. Because otherwise, in later stages, we used to do a lot of work manually, but now we have a fully equipped machines for that. So we can use harvester for harvesting the crops. After that, the crops uh, undergo threshing. That is, we separate uh, the uh, this thing, separating uh, grains from the husk. Separating grains from the husk is called as threshing. That means we beat out grain out. How? We can do it by beating crops on a threshing floor or either what we do is we use a machine that is called as combine. In combine, harvesting as well as threshing, both are done together. These two steps both are done together. This is a machine, a well equipped machine that is combined that can do harvesting as well as threshing. Then after that we need to do winnowing. Winnowing is that separating shaft that is the cover, uh, the lighter cover from the grains even that can done by the winnowing machine. But otherwise in earlier times how it was do the ladies were uh, most of the time ladies are, were employed for this method. They used to have uh, this thing. Uh, the grains, the thresh grains into a, uh, you can say a sieve like thing, they do, uh, they just try to move it in this way and with the wind because the shafts are lighter so they are just carried away in that way. But nowadays we have a, again a well equipped machine that is the winnowing machine. After uh, that we, we use certain other methods for vegetable fruits and this we use hulling. What we do is, we the removing of outer layer of fruit, seed or grain is called as hulling. And again we, again, we have a special machine for that also. Then after that, we can do milling also. That means the converting, the grinding the grains to a flour. That is done by a machine called miller. So this is the sixth step. That means you need to do harvesting, threshing and winnowing for all these things. And hulling and milling is just done for the specific ones where you need that. So this is what is the sixth step. Now moving on to the seventh step, the after, after harvesting, after winnowing, threshing and all, you need to store crops and storage is the, you can say a crucial step because uh, what all you have done till now uh, will get spoiled if you, if you won't be able to succeed in the proper storage. So that means storage is very important because you need to transport your crops to some other place and before that you need to keep, uh, you need to store them in a proper manner. So where you store them, we store them in storehouses, silos, granaries, we store them. So these granaries, silos or storehouses, they should be located away from the chemical industries and the garbage dumps. Because uh, where the chemical industries and garbage dumps are present, they are more, uh, that area is more prone to infections, uh, infection for the crop. So that, uh, that, that granaries, silos, they should be, uh, this thing, uh, they should be present uh, away from these industries and all. Second, uh, if you are storing in a storehouse, then that storehouse, the cracks and the holes in that storehouse should be properly sealed. Because see, moisture is the main, uh, you can say moisture is the main factor behind spoilage. So we need to protect them from the moisture also and we need to protect them from the pest and all also. Third, it should be free from dust, dirt and germs. So obviously if the dirt, germs and dust will be there, then they will proper, they are going to infect the crops. So we need to protect them, the storage area from that. And moreover, for storing, you use the gunny bags also. You use the gunny bags also. So please do not uh, make use of the same gunny bag again and again because it can cause the infection. And moreover, when you use a new gunny bag, then after filling the uh, crops into it, sorry, after uh, filling the grains into it, just try to stitch it properly so that it might not get any infection. And moreover, when you are just storing the gunny bags together, then don't let the gunny bag touch the wall because there might be a chance that wall may get a certain kind of moisture and that moisture can be supply, can be transferred to a gunny bag. And again, I told you that moisture and warm condition is required for the growth of microorganism. So that is, there is a chance that your grains get spoiled. So again, you need to focus on that also. And moreover, uh, you should keep a gunny bag in such a way that you can actually examine it from all four sides. Because, uh, because when you are storing, you need to uh, supervise the storage that whether it is stored properly or not. So if you can see, visualize 
pass the gunny bag from all four directions, then the probably the chance for infection will get reduced because if in case the infection spread in one gunny bag and it is touching the another one, the infection may spread uh, in the whole uh, in all the grains uh, stored in different gunny bags. So you need to focus that and please clearly supervise the storage. That is very important because uh, if the uh, if the grain failure occurred, then there is a huge loss that the farmer can actually uh, uh, have to face, and you know that uh, the farmers cannot bear that much loss. So this is what is a storage now there are uh, we can store certain food materials uh, at room temperature also so when we store certain uh, things at room temperature that is called as dry storage and moreover when you are going to use the storehouse please do the fumigation fumigations or the fumigants are the chemicals which are present in a gaseous state so just uh, sub uh, spray the fumigants in there like so that you can avoid the infection right and vegetables and all like suppose the farmer get a vegetable fruits and all and he need to transport into a different place so uh, these vegetables and all they are refrigerated before the uh, transportation because uh, when you are refrigerating it is providing the optimum temperature which is being required so this is what is the storage i think you got it that what is harvesting in this